Hello beautiful souls, my name is Cheryl, welcome to my channel Starseed Healing. I hope all of you are doing really really good today. I want to share with you something that I'll be experimenting with this week. I'm challenging myself to do a whole week of these videos, which are going to be Oracle Guidance and what guidance you need to hear on that day so there's still gonna be timeless but i thought it would be fun to post a video each day i haven't done that in a really long time and i just want to be in that energy again and see how you enjoy these and how you receive these videos so let's begin today <sighs> Let's get into the energy, guys. Shake off any past energies from today and yesterday and the day before and the week before. Forget about them like they just don't exist. Just for this period of time, shake it off and start connecting with new energy. Let us take a breath together now to fully align and connect with the present moment and ourselves. Breathe in through your nose. Feel that newness, that new energy running through your body and releasing all the old. Only keeping what we need and what we have learned throughout our journey. What is the message for anybody watching this video today? What is the guidance for them, please? What is the guidance for them, please? And we have, oh wow, family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Look at that beautiful picture. Connect to that for a moment. Visualize your friends, your family, whoever they may be, blood or not. And whoever they are and wherever you are with them, whatever situation has come up for you in the past and right now in the present that you are dealing with. Find something about them that you truly love. It could be the simplest thing or even just their smile or something that they did a long ago, a long time ago, or maybe now. That really fills up your heart with joy. Even if you don't have this energy with that person anymore still connect to that feel the love running through your body for that person remember the good times now send this love to them all that you feel send it to them wish them well and then just let go Let go of any expectations, let go of any doubt or fear. Just let go. I keep hearing, just let go. Let go of all the baggage. Send them love and that love will be returned to you. Because it's your love. You are sharing your love with somebody. It doesn't need to be in the physical if you're not able to but energetically, and they will feel it. They don't know what it is. It's not like, oh, they feel something, but they go through easier, maybe an easier life, or they experience something in their life that brings them a smile or brings them joy. And even though they may have triggered something within you in the past that have hurt you, or in the present moment that is hurting you, send them love. Because any person who 
gives pain intentionally or unintentionally unintentionally to others is in pain as well. So by sending them love, you are clearing that connection. You are helping them to heal, to find their way. But also, you are making space to release whatever is in there, good or bad. And making space for the new. You are receiving new love, new energy, new balance. Oh, and look what we have underneath. That's so cool. Oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. I feel like a lot of you depend on other people to help you with figuring out what is next or what you need to do or how you need to feel about something. But maybe this was also for some of you an attachment to family, friends or any type of connection that you are going to have this fulfillment this wholeness this joy with and all you have to do is find that within you you have to connect to that wholeness within you and that's when you experience it in the 3d in the physical realm in any way shape or form and i feel like I am meant to tell you today to just trust your intuition, trust your knowing. And if you like playing with cards, if you like to have fun with tarot and oracle cards, then do so. Because you are opening up and practicing your spiritual gifts. The more you practice, the more you become confident. So the more you become confident, the more you trust. Same with intuition. If you feel something nudging you to do something or to say something and it comes from a really good place from inside of you, then do it. Allow yourself to do that. And every time you're going to see a good result of when you do that, you're going to trust more your intuition and yourself. You become more confident in your own voice, in your own self. Look at that. Look at those beautiful wings. You are protected. And we have the pink here, so it's feminine energy. It doesn't matter if here in the physical realm you are masculine or feminine. This is feminine energy, and we all have it within, within us. Feminine energy is connected to the left side of our bodies, our physical bodies. So you may be having ailments in your left side body. What you have to do is, is connect your feminine side, your nurturing side, and be more open to your spiritual gifts. Or if you're not spiritual at all, it's being connected to you, your opinion, your beliefs, and seeing a way to live fully in that energy, but also opening up to new energies, new people, new ways of doing things. Maybe you are in the beginning process of your spiritual awakening or connecting to spiritual stuff. Listen to your body, what it's telling you, and find that balance between feminine and masculine. That is how you align. But the focus is the feminine today. And spirituality, oracle cards, all of this is connected to the feminine. And look what I'm doing today. I didn't know this was coming out. I decided to connect to this energy and start sharing tarot readings again. And I'm doing it for a whole week. It's a challenge for me. And I'm doing it fully. And that is bringing in my masculine. So the feminine gave me the idea and put me in the creative mode. And wanting to share from love, from a good, positive, high place. And then my masculine came in to help the feminine get her desires. So it's my feminine side that wants to share this love and guidance and my masculine making it happen in the 3D. That is the balance. And we're also having Mars going into Gemini. So polar energies feminine and masculine working together that's beautiful 
I love it. So keep trusting yourself. Enjoy exploring and experiencing yourself and these gifts or whatever you are doing in your life. It could be any type of hobby. Be fully in it. Take action. Enjoy. And if you want to be around people right now, be around people. But if you want to be in hermit mode or you're not able to see whoever you want to see or not be able to be around people right now, connect to that wholeness within you. Because it doesn't matter who you're connecting to in the outside world, there still be something empty within you. You might be not alone, but still feel lonely. Sometimes we're surrounded by thousands, hundreds, or just tens of people. Even just another person. And we have fun, and we enjoy life. But there's still something within us that makes us feel lonely. So instead, connect to you. And loneliness tends to come from being misunderstood in this world or wherever you try to exceed in your life. So instead of focusing to get that energy, to get that validation, that wholeness, that love from the outside world, find it within you, connect with you. Let's get the last card, last guidance message for today, please, for anybody watching. Ooh. Oh my God, what did I just say? Focus, 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 baby, focus. And look at the cold, look at the snow. We are moving out of winter time. And it doesn't have to be about seasons. I know a lot of you are in summertime right now. But this means from within, that coldness. And look, we're standing up and we're moving to much more grounded energy. Red, oh my God, synchronicities. Red, passion, what I told you about love. Share that love, move away from this cold-hearted place. And look, the snow is melting. Even though snow is falling, snow is still melting. You can start to see the tip of the mountain. It's like, woohoo, rebirth, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. And look at that beautiful cheetah. Arr. It's time to be fierce. It's time to focus on whatever you want to focus that you know is going to help you come out of the other side. Let's see what's underneath. <laughs> Look at that. Stand still. Yeah. No more of this energy. You see? Oh, and look at that. They're both looking at the same um, side. Wow. That's amazing. And they're both looking at the right side. That's the masculine energy. Yes. The feminine is now ready to go into the masculine energy, balance that out, and take action. Take action in the things that make you feel good. Your feminine energy, connecting with your masculine, and going for it. And when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel that you need to rest, that you need to recover from something, that you need your alone time, then do it. And for most of you who don't like to be alone and have a long time, it's time for you to do it. It's time for you to connect to yourself and find your own answers. Oh, and look at that builder. It's time to build your own reality, bringing out that inner child. You have healed your inner child. Now it's time to let that inner child come out and play, play in nature, connecting, Finding your strength again, your inner strength, and bringing that out and making change. It could be about business. Look at me creating something new for you. It could be about finances. And look at that light. A lot of you might really, really, right now, feeling the energy to start maybe a spiritual practice. Or maybe a channel like I have done uh, a year and a half ago, something like that. Look, it's sensitivity. You are feeling that, you are connecting with that, and some of you are being urged. Look at that. 
When I say some of you, it's because I know not all of you feel this urge. But if you've been feeling it for so long, even if you just felt it today, you are being asked to connect with that energy and go for it. Share your light. We're waiting for it. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you deserve and desire. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Look at that. I, I didn't even notice that. There's change and change here. So, love your sensitivity. Love your light. Connect to your feminine. Bring in your masculine to heal together. Work together. And keep moving forward. And look, there's crystals. <laughs> Again, feminine. And we have writing in, in reverse. You know why that is? Lack of productivity. Lack of creating. Lack of sharing. Lack of passion. It's time to connect back to your passion. Learn. Focus. <laughs> Teach. Share. Your creativity. Express fully. Oh my God. And your heart's desires will be right there. They're already there. You're just afraid. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Miley's joining us. Look. Hello. Oh. Say bye-bye. I was about to finish. You're exactly on time. For cuddle time. Bye-bye. Mm. We love you. Take care. And I'll stay.